Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are one of my lovely returning viewers and if you're new then thank you very much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy this video as well as all the other ones that are on here for you to have a look at. This week I'm going to be doing a little eye tutorial on this. It's a monochromatic pink look um, the reason for which I will explain as we go on, but it's all to do with the fact that October is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I thought, pink? How can I gothify that? Well, like this. I will be aiming to do some other monochromatic looks um, as we go throughout the year. Green, blue, pur well, purple I do a lot of, but orange maybe let's see let's have a think about that one um but if or yellow maybe that could be horrible um yeah let me know what you'd like if you want to see any more monochromatic looks and if you would like to see how i got this one and have a little chat as we get ready together then do please keep on watching so as i said at the beginning we're going to be doing a monochromatic pink look but in my own particular elder gothy sort of way and for this look i will be using the lovely stacy marie and be perfect cosmetics carnival 3 love tahiti palette because everybody seems to have this and it's wonderful i will also be using a um, medusa's makeup single and some Barry M Pick and Glitz here and I will probably be using my um, Kat Von D Fetish palette I know it was limited edition and you can't really get it anymore but it's got some beautiful colours I used the blush in it and the highlight in it for this look today um, nearly dropped it then <laughs> and so I might be um, using a little bit on my eye. Anyway, so let's get started. I've got some brushes here. In my waterline, I have used um, a lot of Kat Von D today, actually. I've used my Kat Von D um, pink crayon. I did try and use it for lipstick, but I looked so bizarre in pink lipstick, I cannot tell you, so I've had to change it um, back to black, so you know it's me. Anyway, back to Stacey Marie, and the first colour we're going to put down um, is the colour Fruity, and I haven't really done it this way round for a while, where you put quite a light colour first, um, and then go back in with a slightly darker colour, so... It's almost a halo eye, this, so that's what we're doing. I'm going to do the shape of a halo eye. Um, and we're going to talk about the fact that October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is why I'm doing a pink look for you, because on October 22nd, the charities that help with breast cancer are asking everybody to wear pink to sort of bring uh, awareness to more people about how breast cancer can affect so many people mainly women let's say I mean it can affect um, some men but it's quite rare quite rare in men um, and as you know I I had breast cancer in 2016 it was um, diagnosed and then I had all my treatment end of 16 mainly 2017 so what I wanted to do today is what brush did I use that one I think just to fluff the edges around a bit yeah what I wanted to do today was to um, encourage you to start thinking about checking, um, looking at your own bodies and making sure that you know exactly what they're like so that if anything does appear different, 
you'll notice it. Um, that's, there we go, a little bit there, a little bit there. The next colour we're going to go in with is grape. So we've got fruity and we've got grape. We've got all the fruits today. So the thing to do is just to make sure, as I say, firstly, it's appearance. Do you know what your breasts look like in terms of the colour, the appearance, the shape, the size? Because these are the things that um, will change if you have any symptoms that you need to get checked out. So colour, they might get red or redder, they might get um, larger. The main things obviously that everyone knows about are lumps, but the other things are also dimples because um, you remember my friend Josie Lloyd who wrote this book here, she had a dimple and um, hadn't really thought anything of it until she was offered an early mammogram because here in England you don't usually get mammograms until you're over 50 and I had been you know gaily going along to have them and um, one came back with something that shouldn't have been there so she was under 50 and was offered a special um, early one so she was very lucky Right, so we're just going around with this slightly darker grape colour. Yes, yeah, so lumps you can feel, dimpling you can see. Um, we'll go back in with a bit more fruity, I think. Just on the edge. And then take it out. Um, and then you get a mammogram. At first you think, oh this is, I don't really like this, but as with all things, medicine tastes nasty because it's good for you, but you know. Now I'm going to go underneath with Pink Lily here and Magenta here. So yeah, so I'm just encouraging you just to just to look if you can't bring yourself um, to go for a mammogram. You're more of a fool than you possibly could know because if you are offered a mammogram, take it. If you see something wrong, <coughs> excuse me, coughing. If you see something wrong and you think you need a mammogram, tell the doctor. Um, and yeah, don't be like me and think. I mean, I cannot tell you how ignorant I was about breast cancer until I got it. I mean, we've all seen um, that lovely girl from Girls Aloud sadly passed away. Um, I'm just going in with a bit of lilac and Sarah Harding and it wasn't until I was well in you know ensconced in treatment having chemo chatting to other ladies who were having chemo um, and one of them said to me Oh, isn't it the worst thing um, telling your family that you know you, there's a possibility that you might die and I said what do you mean you might die if you get breast cancer you have an operation you have some chemotherapy you have some radiotherapy and then it's all right and she was like I roll forehead slap could you be any stupider no you can die from breast cancer and that was how stupid I was. I had no idea that you actually could. And um, yeah, so it was no wonder that um, it was such a difficult time for my wonderful husband because he knew all this because he works 
writing software for machines that fight cancer using laser beams. I'm just going in for my inner corner colour with the colour pearl. So he knew all about this but he didn't really want to tell me because I was in a state of blissful ignorance rather amazingly. So that's Stacy Marie. Now I've got this little Medusa's makeup single in the colour Electro Magenta which is rather lovely. It's quite sparkly. I'll try and do a close-up of that if I remember. And I will put my close-up mirror on and put it here. It's a very nice colour. So yeah, please be aware, please make everybody that you know aware. I mean, clearly I'm not going to wear any clothes that are pink on the 22nd, but I thought if I showed you a nice pink eye look, um, you might be able to have a go at that. So I'm taking my fetish palette and I'm going to use the colour Rose Shock just to go over the top of that Medusa's makeup colour. And the thing with monochrome looks is you probably will need to use more than one palette. Um, I mean, I could have done this just using Stacey Marie, but this is so gorgeous. I sort of have to. Um, and I'm going to go around the edge as well with it, just to give it a little bit of shimmer there. I wonder if it's symmetrical. Well, who knows is the short answer. Probably not is the slightly longer answer. Um, and I am now going to get my MUA glitter glue, which is not a bad glitter glue to be fair. Very reasonably priced because you know me cheap as the day is long and I've got a big fluffy brush and I've got my Barry M glitter pick and glitz and I'm going to try not to get it all over the floor so I'm just going to sweep some glue here and put some glitter on the brush and pat it on there. So there we go. That's that bit there. There should be another bit up here as well, as you can see. So I'm going to put some here. These glitters are, I mean, they're huge. Some of the bits are just vast, but they're really good and very, very eye-catching. I've got, what have I got? A green one, a pink one, a blue one, I think. And a purple one? No. A white one? A holographic one, that's it. I've got a bunch of them. As you can see, they do um, shed a tiny bit, but that's fine. So then I'm going to get my new purchase, my NYX Epic Ink Liner, and do a bit of epic ink lining. So I'm just going to do the first bit here like this and go along my lash line. Just a normal eye line like that. And then because these 
patterns are quite difficult and my skin is not taut and springy and it moves about a lot it's very difficult to do so I will do this one oh it's difficult it wants to just go in all the cracks and furrows and then we'll go down here and along like this and I got this pattern from my lovely friend Just Goth Jade and I will link her channel so that you can have a look at it she um, needless to say is a lot younger than me and has a lot firmer skin than me and can do these patterns <laughs> extremely easily and well so let's do this bit over here now so we go I do find it's easier to bring it in rather than go out because it does get stuck I've gone too far already haven't I yep but never mind so we'll do that and then we'll attempt this bit so I may speed this up in post-production because it's going to take me a while so stand by There we are, completely asymmetrical as you can see. I will then put these little spots on and it's my double-ended Lottie London stamp liner. And what I did was I cut the point off so that I could make circles. Ugh. Or almost circles anyway. This worked earlier. There we go. There we have it. Yeah, that's very annoying, that one there. Let me just see if I can finagle it a bit. I'm going to put some Lash Princess on because it is the mascara that is my absolute ride or die. I keep trying other ones, expensive ones, uh, what's it called, Urban Decay. I was very kindly given, a, I think you said a copy then, I was very kindly given some Urban Decay mascara and um, it is lovely, it's very lovely, but you know, I think Lash Princess just pips it at the post to be honest with you I mean this side is not as good as this side because this side I was like mm, over the magnifying mirror no pressure doing it without you all watching and it seems somehow to be much easier to do when you're not all watching me do it so um, Oh look, I've missed a bit. This is terrible, missed a bit there. Yeah. There we go, join that back up. See, it's the pressure, the pressure of being in the public's gaze. So, two seconds, I'll um, pop my other lash on, and today's lashes are the lovely PL84 lash from Pound Lashes, and I really do highly recommend these. They are fabulous as well as cheap, so you can't really get better than fabulous and cheap. I'll be right back. So, as we say in show business, ta-da! 
this is the final look it's pink but I think it's goth but you might disagree I don't know frankly I've got to the age now where if I like it that's pretty much good enough for me and I may wear it to Pilates later I may not who knows um, thank you very much for watching um, do please remember why we're doing a pink look today because October is breast cancer awareness month please be aware there are lots of places um, online where you can find out about checking your own breasts and making sure there's nothing untoward and if you do think that there is then do please contact your local medical practitioner anyway please give this video a big thumbs up I would appreciate it very much please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already I know there's got to be a few of you out there that haven't so please subscribe if you could follow me on all the other things that would also be lovely and you can buy me a Kofi if you'd like to I'm going to say please take care please be safe please look after the natural world wherever you are in it and of course everybody please stay strange bye for now and see you next time